Just another day out here in the snow, getting snowed on, eh? Getting a little bit of pneumonia. Say, you got somewhere you want to travel to, friend? My god. There's only one place you're traveling to. And that, my friend, is Sovereign Guard. Help me. <laughs> Welcome back to the adventures of Martinius last time. That's, that's the best I got for you today. Uh, because today, as I hinted at yesterday, this is one of our pre-recorded episodes to get us through to either Monday or Tuesday. Um, I'm not entirely sure, so it's only like three or four days, depending on how long the visitors are. But, you know, after that, we're not going to have any visitors for hopefully a long ass time. It's What's only because, you know, lockdown ended in the UK and I haven't seen anybody sure, for like two years. So it's, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. A quite literally a once in a lifetime occasion, or at least I kind of hope so. So, we're going to be doing a lot of inconsequential quests. Quests that... No, 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 not inconsequential. Quests that aren't directly tied to other quests, storylines, or other important things. So, today, we're going to try and become the Thane of Windhelm. We're going to do that by assisting one more person in East March. The person I've chosen to help out is the alchemist of Windhelm, Norellian, who has asked us to find a legendary white file for him. It should be somewhere in the Forsaken Cave in the mountains west of Windhelm. And because it's in somewhere called the Forsaken Cave, you know it's going to be nice and friendly. What the hell is in the Forsaken Cave? Apparently we've been here before. Is that the hole in the floor that's full of Falmer? Uh, apparently not. Okay, Inigo, let's go and have a look then, shall we? Inigo is joining us for our journey. One of the things I do plan on doing over the next few days. Fuck off, goat! What the hell? That one did not die graciously. <laughs> we just shot it in the head with a crossbow bolt. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was fucking good. Um, so like I was saying, one thing I do want to try and do today as well, given that we're doing kind of quests that have less impact than doing, say, the Dark Brotherhood, the Thieves Guild, the main quest, is uh, I'd love to do Inigo's quest. See if he's willing to trust us with his, uh, well, whatever it is, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go and have a look around. So we've been here before, but for some reason we didn't really do much in here. Bonk! You were an embarrassment. What, me? Well, he had to be talking to me because everyone else is dead. Bonk. That was an embarrassment. Sorry. I'm using a super lightweight mouse. Uh, and if I so much as breathe out, it moves the uh, <laughs> it moves the cursor. To be fair, I don't know if a lot of people can tell this. You probably can with this speed at which I flip the camera around. I also play at 16,000 DPI. Um, just because I've got like a... So I've got a, a, a wrist support mouse pad, as everybody should, because they're very ergonomic. Um... And will prevent you getting RSI so easily. Um, I have one of those. But the problem is that gives me like a total of two inches either way to move the mouse. And when you've got a triple monitor set up and, you know, for like video editing and shit. Unless you have super, super high mouse sensitivity, you just can't do it. Uh, so like I said, a big problem with that is, um, you know, it's very, very, very sensitive. You'll notice it in remote, especially when I try and place something down and it'll jump halfway across the screen. Or in first person shooters, it's a blessing and a curse. Because it means that you can, like, snap to things, like, super, super fast just with a flick of the wrist. But it also means that if I breathe out or sneeze or, you know, move my arm slightly weirdly, then uh, we're all over the place. We're all over the place. But I am also an MLG gamer. So, you know, I can I can handle it. As you can tell, by the way, I killed that troll earlier. <laughs> we are going to search the urns, but probably not a lot else here. Um, we need to be sneaking here. Always be sneaking. Remember, we got all those... Ah! Fuck off. We've got all those sneaking... Oh, in you go. We've got all those sneaking bonuses. I just shot my grandson in the spine. I'm sorry. What I need to remember, too, is that we don't have to hold it anymore. It fires straight away. I don't have to sit here and, you know, hold down the fire button and use our stamina. We just, we just point and aim and click and shoot. Like this. Or not. Okay. Bloody hell, this is dark. I apologize, but that is... uh. God, it's so dark. I'm so sorry. Hang on. Let me see if I can boost that for you guys a little bit. If we're going to be doing a lot of sneaking, we might as well uh, we might as well sort this out now, eh? Um, let's sort a little bit of color correction here. Tell me if this is too much. And we'll see if you guys can see things a little bit better now. We'll boost the gamma by a fair amount. Uh, how's that looking? Can you, can you see now? Is that a little bit better? Let me know how it looks. It's probably going to be way, way too much when we get outside. But when we're sneaking around a bunch of Draugr tombs, it's going to be really, really difficult for you guys to see otherwise. 
We do have Night Eye as well. It should be it should be active from what I remember, but I guess not. You know what? That's a fucking way better idea. Why have I not done that? I removed those cloaks from Ricardo's recital because they were like crazy distracting. Um, why don't we just throw in then? Hang on, let's go back to here. Uh, I want Night Eye, and then that should save us a. That should save us some vision. Let's take a look and see what that looks like now. Uh, it's just made things more washed out. You're seeing basically exactly what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, that's just made things like crazy washed out. Well, thank you for that, Todd Howard, you bitch. <laughs> you big stinky. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just carry on. Whatever. We'll, we'll manage, I'm sure. We'll get through it. Okay. Okay, here we go. God, that looks so washed out now. Oh, God, my eyes. Maybe we shouldn't have used night eye. What we need is detect life. Oh, that'll be something we go and buy when we're out of here. Don't let me forget about that. Detect light. I'm going to make a note because I'm going to forget about that. Hold on, Draugr. Let me just write this down. Oh, let me put it on my put it on my phone somewhere. Uh, right. Detect life. There we go. Right. I'm going to put that like right there. Then I won't forget about it. Because that would help out quite much. I know that's also in its, in its own way kind of distracting too. Uh, but... It will help out a little bit to prevent situations like this from happening. I keep forgetting that we don't have to click and hold. I did it just then and it made my... <laughs> maybe completely miss. Okay. Okay, let's back off a little bit. Did he just hit himself with his own arrow? In he go. 58 archery. Gotta remember, don't click and hold. Don't click and hold. Just fire. Good God, they're loud. Is it me or are they louder than usual? Fucking hell. Let's turn those guys down a little bit. It's too dark. It's too loud. Maybe it's because we're being a lot quieter than usual because we're sneaking. Okay. Okay, what have you got for me here? The mirror. Okay. Some garbage in these jars. Thank you for that. I assume there's something in this direction that we're after. Oh, I think this is the way we're actually supposed to go. Oh, Jesus. It's so fucking dark. Okay, thank you for the gems. Please don't be angry at me. Hey, loot that final gem. Okay. Hello? Trauger? Oh, I hate it. Hello? That man's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Oh, you're you're not dead. Okay, nice work. Nice work. Okay. Just keep your wits about you. Are you not dead? That one wasn't dead either. Excellent move, Martinius. Excellent move. Okay. Oh! We were spotted. We were spotted. It's okay. Nice. Oh! Roll. Roll. And you go. You're kind of in the way there. Great shot. 59 archer already. Holy shit. We're crying out level so fucking fast. Good lord. Kabang! This place is not very welcoming. No, I'd agree. It's dark. It's loud. Old Aunt Margaret here is trying to kill us around every freaking corner. Okay, that guy's still alive. Hold on. Oh my god, it's a Dragon Death Lord. No pressure, Inigo. No pressure. Our well, stamina, though, is staying great, isn't it? To be fair, He's stamina, in hindsight, was a bad call. Because we don't need to hold the bow drawn anymore. There's no stamina associated with the crossbow. So that was uh, that was definitely a mistake on on my part there. Okay, okay. Well, let's kill your friend. Good shit. Because if I'd have shot the one that's walking around, we might not have actually killed it straight up, and then we'd have had to deal with two drought because the other one would have woken up. The sneak levels for this too. Ah, you fuck. Oh! I thought it was the drought behind us shooting fire at us. It turns out we were. Oh! What? Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> we just got a reload cam then. Wow. What a great day. What a great day, huh, Inigo? Let's make sure we're getting all these fucking gems again. That was, that was awesome. God, I love this game. Oh, 94 lockpick. I'm glad I tried it. Turns out it was a dead end. This is the, uh, the room that we saw back here earlier. 94 lockpick. Uh, where the fuck did you come from, old man? That's what I thought. Hulking Draugr. Oh, Jesus. If I die here, please drag my body outside. I don't want to end up here permanently. Me neither. 
to be honest. Luckily, we have this incredible power of reloading. Otherwise, this would be, um... <laughs> that, that would be it. We should do a Skyrim, like, proper... Is there, like, a proper hardcore Skyrim mod? Like, like our Iron Man mode, for lack of a better word. That would be really interesting. When you when you die, you die. You know for a fact, though, shit like that would be so frustrating. Because you die to something like... Like a bug. You know, you'd trip over a skeleton on the floor and the physics would, would kill you. Or something ridiculous like that. In hindsight, doesn't sound like that good an idea. I take it back. Oh, we did get 73 illusion there. Whoa, I guess from Night Eye then, eh? Wow, if we could also nail illusion with uh, with the Dark Brotherhood. I mean, that seems fairly appropriate as well. That'd be pretty nice to get. Illusion is... um. Oh, what a shot. Illusion is also a part of... um. Oh, uh, Night Eye, sorry, is also part of illusion, is it not? So that'd be another one to uh, help level that up. We can cast up to three spells automatically by entering combat, of course, with the Kato's Recital. So if we get, like, Night Eye and... Someone dead? Looks dead. If we get, like, Night Eye and... Uh... Detect Life. There's got to be another one. Like, Soul Cloak, like I said. But the problem with Soul Cloak is... Oh, fucking hell. Not again. Okay. I think we're okay. Fucking thing. Right. Uh, yeah, like Soul Cloak, Night Eye. There's got to be another one that goes in there as well. Jesus, 60 already? Inigo, please don't stand on that. I think I'll fucking scream at this point if we die in this room again. Okay. There's got to be some sort of treasure over here, right? Hello? Ah. It was prismatic dwarven boot. What is the effect on that? Oh, we've got it. I, I want to know how we get the chaos enchantment. From what I remember, it's it's only on the um like I said yesterday, the uh the, the hammer that that what's the name? Folks Carius, the uh the general of the fort on Solstheim has. Fuck. That made me actually flinch in real life then. Okay. Silver ingots, those are worth a a good amount. Quite literally a solid bar of silver, you'd kinda hope so. Okay, here we go then. I think we're through with enemies in this zone at least. Wow. This was um, a bit more of a commitment than I was willing to go for. What was his name? Numenor? Nindelian? You know, the elf. Oh, fuck. Why is no... How, where do these dragons keep coming from? Surely we're not the first person to come in here for thousands of years. There's a shitload of, like, tomb raiders and stuff. And these dragons have been down here since, apparently, according to the guy, Skyrim first had snow settle on it. You're talking like thousands of years these guys been down here and we're the first fucking grave robber. I don't believe you. Don't tell me to suspend my disbelief. It's a video game. Michael Kirkbride can write something more convincing than that. He can't. That was a joke. <laughs> Probably some sort of dragon break. When you actually enter a tomb, you're not entering the tomb. You're actually transcending uh, Aetherius and you're stepping back through time into the tomb at its peak Kaim moment, which is, you know, the most life in the undead. Because that is the most contrary to reality in the Etada. Or something. <laughs> God, I, I fucking hate Elder Scrolls Extended Lore. I'm not going to go on this same rant again, because I feel like this is the last Draugr tomb we were in. It's just so bad. It's a, look, it's a video game. And it's not even like a, it's not even like, you know, like in Morrowind. It's like, oh, I played Morrowind. Okay, it's not even like Morrowind anymore. Skyrim literally appeals to the lowest common denominator. It's the most modded game in existence. Let's not pretend it's some fucking indie gem, okay? It doesn't suit the overwriting and the kind of metaphysical stuff anymore. What would all the people who want to uh, feel superior about have to su feel superior about then if they don't know every, every book in Skyrim? I have them actually bound in my house in real life. I think I joke about that, but I did say that I think it would be kind of fun to get some of them. Just it's kind of like a decorative thing. I'm not going to read them. That'd be absurd. Is this going to fall on me? No, that's not actually a log trap. We are carrying too much to be able to run. Honestly, for me, that's probably that's probably for the best. I shouldn't be allowed to run in this game. We'll just blitz ahead. Fuck off. We'll just blitz ahead. And end up forgetting to get the sneak attack damage. Boom. Nice. Nice and simple. I agree. Okay. Well, I mean, to be honest, at moments like these would be kind of nice too. 
run, but that's okay. You're another Draugr. Oh, they're probably above us. It's probably above us. Scrollops, life's finale. Card of Draconians. A Stalrim Whip. I don't think we actually need it. I think the Stalrim Whip is... I, I think all of the kind of extra weapons added by that mod. The Quarter Staffs, the Claws, the Whip, whatever. All of that stuff I think we've got. Because those Stalrim weapons can spawn anywhere. I think there might be a Draugr in here. Whereas all the other Stalrim stuff, of course, only spawns on uh, Solstheim. Okay, sneaky, sneaky now. Boom. Keep your head down, grandson. There might be a horrible Draugr in here. God, with all this heavy breathing, you think there'd be a moderator of our scr slash Elder Scrolls lore. Okay, there we go. Wow. That was, uh, that was something. That was something. It would really help if I stopped picking up all these crappy fucking Nordic things that we really did not need. Okay. And that must be the way that we're supposed to go. I would assume that's the way we're supposed to go. Actually, apparently the... That was close. Uh, apparently the vial that we need is on this floor anyway. It could be through here. Jesus, that was close. Can we... Does that get triggered by, like, an item being on there? No. See, what I was thinking was, um... I wonder if we could shoot with an arrow and trigger it while other people are on it. Well, it's certainly not through here, because they wouldn't put it behind a locked door in case you're crap at lockpicking. Ooh. Oh! So much for the perk that puts it closer to the starting point, eh? This one's bloody miles away. Oh, hello. This is a trap. We're good. We're good. Right, let's start storing some things then. It's getting kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of like to be able to run occasionally. It's nice to have the... Uh... Oh, there's all our soul gems. Right. I wonder where those got put. I don't know why I put them all in there. We still have like all the stuff that we've picked up from the past few episodes. Debaser, Aduge, uh, Oaken, uh, Firineal's End, all of that crap. I haven't been very good about putting stuff back in the gallery. So after, after we've done a couple of other quests, then we'll... um. We'll dump it all in there. Just about every potion in Skyrim in our backpack, too. There we go. Oh, yeah. I wonder why I was over encumbered, I said. We've got a human's worth of human meat on us. Okay. Well, let's try it again, shall we? Actually, the Forgotten City would be a good one to do in these kind of few days of um, trying to avoid big main key content. Fuck, this is dark. You guys can actually see, see slightly better than me right now. Bonk. 61 archery. Very nice. We've got like five levels just coming in here alone. Holy crap. It is by the amount of damage you do, isn't it? it down. So I guess because now we're doing just so much more damage with the crossbow, it's massively beneficial to power leveling. Illusion 74 as well. Very good. Can we have up a lot of levels. Stop. Danger dealt with. Shouting. You're so fucking loud. Good lord. Chill. I want to hear the nice music. I don't want to hear a man fuss road in my ear. Fucking closed ear headphones. I've actually just straight up closed ears. I've fused together from the fucking screaming at this rate. <laughs> Hello. Right. Uh, little jar. Jar with some... Hello? That one's breathing heavier than usual. That must be the admin. I love Michael Kirkbride. I heard what you said about him. Please. In he go. In he go. Finish the job. 62 archery. Jesus. We're leveling up so, so, so fast. Granted, I have enchanted all of our gear with extra experience. But again, that's because we're trying to do, well, everything there is to do in Skyrim, which is fairly ambitious. Oh, hello. Hello. I missed. I missed. Nice. Corral mill. Please. Okay, I feel like sneaking is a little bit... A little bit past the gamut at this point. Yeah, no shit. Got him. Hope you get any go. Boom. There's another one down. Stop banging. You're too loud. There's another one down. Dragon Scourge. 
Please don't shout. This is what we were born. Might knock some treasure over. Oh. We've done it. That was a little touching go there for a second, but kind of epic. That's the most challenge I think we've had in Skyrim in a long, long time. Wow. Okay, there he is. Corral Mill. Whoa, he's got some really cool stuff. Corral Mill sword. Whoa, what is that? Is that, kind of, is that an elven sword? I can't even tell. It's not for the gallery, though. Soul of Corral Mill. That's added by that kind of Draugr soul mod, but for some reason it doesn't interact with anything else in the game. It doesn't go in the gallery. There's nothing you can do with them. It's just for your own kind of personal collection. I collect Draugr soul and Draugr soul accessories. Wow. Well, it seems like there's nothing else in this room, so we better leave. I'm joking. <laughs> but you you got to admit, that did raise your blood pressure there for a second. Okay. What if Powell learned Loon? Marked for death. Marked for death is uh, one of the cooler ones. I, I do prefer... Honestly, I do prefer the utility shouts. I like Marked for death. It's it's one of my go-to shouts when I just play Skyrim regularly because it's kind of, kind of fun, isn't it? How much more intimidating could you be than a... Than the Dragonborn shouting at you and marking at you for death if the shouting already wasn't frightening enough. Paul Norellian's mixture. Breathe in deeply. This place smells troublesome. Don't. That was a joke. Don't actually breathe it in, Inigo. Here we are then. A master layer of alchemy. These ingredients would not be good for a start. I assume that's an alchemy book there too. These would not be okay to to use. What do you think the uh, the shelf life is on uh, Dwemer Oil? Oh, and Chorus eggs. Very good. Don't know how a thousand-year-old Draugr has got... Or thousands and thousands of year-old Draugr have um, Chorus eggs, given that Chorus eggs probably weren't particularly widespread until they were adopted by the Falmer as a domesticated animal. Of course, the Falmer... Um, you know, weren't really widespread until the Dwemer adopted them as a domesticated animal. Give me that cracked white file. Bring the file to Norellian. I'm going to be happy about the fact that it's cracked. Can we take that back out? Go on, Inigo. Have a swig. I'll give you a thousand septims. <laughs> Pushes up glasses. The Forsaken Cave. Sounds lovely. Real, a real tourism problem this game has. They need to really rebrand half this shit, don't they? I did that in the UK. There was, um... There was a Tom Scott video on that, wasn't there? There was this, like, waterfall in the UK that they that calcifies things because of the minerals in the water. I think he said something like they renamed it because the tourism was horrible. It was originally called, like, Cursed Rock Mountain. And it was, like, pretty horrible for tourism. <laughs> ah, here we are. Just needed a drink there. Been... Uh, the problem with pre-recording content is I do genuinely end up talking for 16 hours in one day, which is extremely, not only extremely damaging to your voice, because humans aren't really supposed to do that. We're not really supposed to talk at all, are we? Um, we we are supposed to return to Monkey. Caveman didn't talk. Caveman Ooga Booga. And also even return to Monkey. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to get comments now. <laughs> That's the type of thing I say as a joke, and then someone feels they need to correct me. Some anthropologist out there. Ah, Norellian. God, I hope the fever didn't take him overnight. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy regents. It's pronounced reagent, not regent. A regent is someone who sits on a sits on a throne. Hello, Norellian. Alchemy is simple. Unless, of course, you were simple. Then, I can't help you. I bought the file, but it's damaged. This... Uh, it matches every description of the file that I've found in law. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. Tape it up, idiot. How did you manage to damage it, then? This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. It was like when I found it, moron. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm I the file, him. even if you want He has no idea who's speaking to. Either way, this is the end of it. We could put your head in the fire again, you. you'll excuse me. <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Here's for your trouble. Five septims. Thank you. 
Speak to Quintus. Quintus. I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. A bit of a cunt. I was happy to help. Here. You should have this. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Thank you. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norellian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. Oh, what a lovely guy. And that's it, I suppose. The white file. Did that count as helping another person? No! I suppose we didn't actually assist him. Fuck off. What do you want me to do to assist the bloody people of Eastmarch then? Man literally lives in Windhelm. Helps is out with his fucking life's work. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to collect five boar anuses and deliver it to the Jarl Steward's niece's cousin. Bloody fucking game. Right. I go and speak to the steward himself. I'm sure he's got some work. Although last time we tried to help out the steward with work, it didn't bloody count because we're technically not helping the people of Eastmarch. We're helping the actual Jarl himself. It's ridiculous. I get why Norellian is old and bitter. Right, Captain Longbeard. Not what you did, killing those foul witches. Well done, companion. Oh, thank you, my friend. I didn't realize we were talking companion business. I'd like to purchase a home in the city. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. What do you mean it's called Hiarim? <laughs> you mean the one where the necromantic ritual was performed in the bedroom? Uh, you got anything for me to do? The Jarl has put out a bounty to slay a giant. Here, take a look at this decree for details. I thought Imperials wanted the... Thank you, okay. I thought Imperials wanted the giants left alone. Someone told us that before. What, he wants us to go kill a giant? Well, where's the fucking quest then? What giant do you want me to kill? Hey! Did we get like a missive from him or something like that? Uh, No? Cardlet okay. White Main is a better place now. For is there any place better than Sovereign God? No. Fair winds. Can I help you? Watch over your bats, fucking... Why is everybody in this fucking town making it so difficult to allow us to become Thane? Is it, here's a letter telling to go kill a giant. We're going to mark it in the quest log. You're not allowed to find out what it was again. I'm not, oh, by the way, if you ask me about it again, I'm going to have no knowledge. Right. Okay. We'll just go and speak to some people across Windhelm then. We'll get involved with the people here and, and see if they need our help. Even though I just did that and I was betrayed for my efforts. But never mind. We helped a rent a Sarantino kill someone. Does that not count? <laughs> right, what have we got here? Unlock I'm just going to find people in the streets, but a bee barbe, and see if they want some help with something. You? Yes. Yes. I assume you don't want some help then, you prick. Okay. Tiny child. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Yes. Give me your flowers. Not much, but I hope you like them. Thanks. Done. Thank you. Some pretty flowers. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, you're all right. Right, you? Need something? Yeah, I need a bloody quest. Freaking hell, everyone in this town is so cold. Well, I mean, I meant that kind of, you know, metaphorically, but I appreciate that quite literally as well. Said in here, somebody's got to have something, got something for Paul Martinez. Everybody in here. Yes, a quest then. Any questions. A quest. Can't say I mind the sight of all the Imperial Guards. It's a change for the better. Who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravan. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Okay. Right, nothing then. Oh, let's ask him about this oh, then. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, <laughs> and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Uh, I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You want me to reverse you pickpocket to get it onto her, I guess? Some other way. Okay. Well, look, look up there. It's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something... I will make it worth your while. If this counts towards me becoming Thane, I'm going to be pissed, by the way. St break into Don't someone's house, catch you in her house. And return a ring. And that apparently... <laughs> fucking stealing this game is ridiculous. That apparently counts towards uh, helping a member of the town. Whereas fulfilling a man's life wish doesn't. Fucking unbelievable. Right, okay. 
Viola Giordano. Let's go and have a look then. We are very good at breaking and entering. Well, kind of. I wouldn't say it's our best skill. Right now, we're very good at shooting Draugr in the chest with a crossbow. Slightly different. Where is her house? Up here? Oh, she's in the nice part of what? Oh, I see. Oh. Right. Knock. Hello? Hello? Oh, no one's home. Okay, sneak. Break in. Break in. Hi, it's me, your new neighbor. I just bought the murder house. 95 lockpicking. Shit, maybe we should just go around town and lock in everybody's doors. In he go. Fuck. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? You're going to give the fucking game away. Oh, in he go. What an idiot. He's got himself trapped in the transmundane plane of... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, on the plus side, we haven't got to do any more sneaking, so I guess we're all right. Let's go back and let that Dunman know we've done his... Done his dirty work very literally. Is there anything I can help you My with? No, okay. They don't really complain much. Oh, yeah? You sound like you haven't gone on the quest to go and find a fucking file for Neuralian. Dead did a lot of complaining. I helped. 63 archery for shooting a rat. <laughs> Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. Thank you for letting me know. I don't think I'll be doing anything with this around. knowledge. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking oh, for. Oh, I was looking for a if giant jeweled cup, but it's a real shame you don't have, have one in you stock. Taken care of that little problem. It's done. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Azura doesn't. Azura Speaking doesn't really fortune, like me. Here, everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Hey, assist Farewell. the people of each march five out of five. Helping a man with his life work does not count in a legitimate means to return a lost relic to the people of Windhelm. Uh, oh shit, it's getting worse. <laughs> but, you know, bit of grand larceny. Apparently that's all good. Okay, then. Well, I suppose reverse grand larceny. Let's fucking head in there. But you be named Steward. I never come back to Windhelm again. What a fantastic day. Ah. Oh. In you go. You're embarrassing me in front of the yards. Oh my god, isn't he clipped through his chest? Oh no. <laughs> in fact, he's just making eye contact with us as if it's normal. Right, y'all. Hey there. Hey there. I've helped your people as you asked. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Eastmarch. Congratulations. Say it louder for the ones at the back, please. I grant you a personal house call. Oh Jesus. Watch over your home. Don't say that. And this weapon from my armory. To serve as your badge of office. Thank you. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want the, wouldn't want them thinking I'm part of the rabble. Felmod and the War Axe of Windhelm. Keep safe. You keep safe too. Thane of Eastmarch. You hear that? I have nothing to say to you. You hear that? Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Yeah, that's what I thought. You big bitch. Right, in you go. What's We're gonna need, leave. Bard? What do I need, Bard? Bard? We'll be singing a song in a minute, pal, when I play you like a violin. I almost said fiddle, but I caught myself before I did. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I mean, I'm sure I'll be okay. So why don't we head back to the gallery then? Because we've got to drop off basically all the loot that we've got from the past... Well, from the past, like, what, four episodes now? The Draugr Crypt and uh, the... Oh, he's back to normal. Hey, that's good. And that's all just in our... Uh, it's all just in our chest, isn't it? So we'll withdraw it when we're, when we're closer. One thing I want to do then, let's take our septums out of here. I assume our cell cart is still full of stuff. Uh, it's getting, look, it's getting there. It's getting there. It is still full of things, but it's it's slowly dropping down in number. Let's just top it back up with some with some crap. Uh, value, value, value. Flawless diamond, couple of flawless emeralds, meteorite, regular diamonds, sapphires. Oh, there you go. Do we need that? Oh, we need that one. Shit. Gotta be careful of not selling things that we need here, otherwise that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Obviously, we can always find another one, but I know that when we, it's it's one of those things that you know when you're looking for it, you're just straight up not gonna find it. 
Oh, that coral. Oh, no, apparently we've already got coral. I don't want to be looking for a specific gem. Otherwise, it's just going to be... It's just going to be a real pain in the ass. We've got a Patima gold piece there that apparently we need for the gallery too, which is quite nice. Boom. Okay. Oh, no, we need the citrine. Give me that back. Oh, wait. Where did that go? Citrine. Okay. Hopefully, I haven't sold anything we needed there. Now, what I want to do is drop all our gold off in the vault and see what we get out of that. We've got 454,000. I believe it's every 100,000 changes the layout of your vault. So, we've just topped that up now to 584,000. It's going to change. Oh, yeah, it did. A couple more bags of gold there. We got a big barrel of gold there. And the jeweled eagle appeared. That's quite nice. Jesus, look at all this stuff. Holy crap. This corner's a little bit devoid, isn't it? Whoa, that's awesome. We'll see when it stops. Uh, I think that'll be pretty obvious when we filled it up, you know? Because it'll probably just fill up all the spaces. I've got to pick up my new... My new uh, house cow to put in our museum. Never mind. I also want to take a look at the axes they gave us as well. See if see what those are like. Because they all have those unique enchantments. To be fair, we did get two bows from Falkruth that both could be very good. So there's Falmod. It was like a Stolrim axe. That's nice. Whoa. And then the War Axe of Whiterun with a big bear's head. That's cool. Very nice. Okay, then let's get all this shit transferred over and see what we've got left. Now, tomorrow I want to go and do the... Um, I want to go back to Whiterun. There's a lot of quests we've yet to do in Whiterun. Uh, the Gilbergleam being obviously the most the, the most prominent of that. That will not only give us the display for the quest, but will also give us something to display in the uh, the Hall of Natural Science or whatever it's called. So that would be quite a nice one to uh, nice one to go and take off. A nice, chill, easy quest. And then uh, I guess I'll go and look up just kind of random Skyrim quests that we may have forgotten. Like I said, we could always just work through a quest dialogue. Talk to Brynja off again. I don't want to start the Thieves Guild yet, ideally. I'd rather do all of the Dark Brotherhood than do all of the Thieves Guild, but um, we'll see how it's going anyway. We'll just take them off one by one. Let's go to the Embassy. That's a pretty massive one that we've yet to do. Maybe we'll do that then. I know I know. I said that I wouldn't do too much main storyline, but the Embassy is pretty, pretty self-contained, isn't it, as far as the story goes? It's not a, it's not a massive one. 1,357 displays. I need to go and empty our inventory out, but I think for today, that will pretty much be everything as per usual especially over the next few days thank you all for watching and thank you for bearing with me once again while i uh entertain more and more house guests but like i said after after this week is said and done i think it's very unlikely we're gonna have any more guests for uh for at least a month if not longer so we'll be regular schedule for quite some time after that uh and then regular old martinius let's go and get some of the shit out of our inventory 1100 carry weight yeah i think i might just visit the cell cart 